I mean, it doesn't feel like 825 bucks. Hey everybody, Parker here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we are all about building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank, which is what I usually say. Today might be a little bit different. I just got these $825 running shoes from Courser and we're gonna try them on. We're gonna go for a run in them and I'm gonna try and figure out why in the heck they're charging that for these shoes. Let's take a look. Got a really fancy dust bag, some extra laces. Aww. Okay, first impressions. They're very lightweight. I do like the look of them. They're very clean, streamlined. They look very aerodynamic. This leather material is Nubuck and it's bonded to some type of, according to the website, it's bonded to a special fiber that was originally invented for space exploration. I'm basically gonna be running on the moon. There's a carbon fiber plate on the bottom, which you really can't tell, but it is in there. I'm just trying to figure out all the different components to bring these all the way up to that sticker price because it's a little crazy considering it's a shoe you're gonna be really active in and therefore is going to wear down over time. They're Italian made, so I suppose potentially you could get the bottom resold, but I've never heard of that in a running shoe before, so I don't know. They come in the white that I have. There's also a black, a blue, and a green colorway. You might as well just get all four, just so you have them, you know, no big deal. I don't know, I think the only thing we can really do is go out, take these to the streets and just see if they feel great immediately or if they are gonna take a little bit of wear to sort of form in my foot. Let's go. Ooh, okay, so I'm up here in the Hollywood Hills. Decided to come up here and test these out. Just some nice views, nice open spaces. Initially on foot, they actually feel pretty good considering I've never put them on before and this is my first time running in them. Uh, they're rubbing a little bit on my ankle with the space fabric, but overall they're nice. I don't necessarily feel a whole lot of spring out of them like I would like to, but we're gonna keep going keep pushing and see if they feel a little better with more distance maybe a little bit of speed trial as well you know what I take it back the spring thing is nice uh, I've ran about a half mile more and I can totally feel my strides lengthening a little bit just because I'm able to really stride out and get a tiny bit of bounce from the shoe, which is nice. I don't know if it's $825 nice, but it's nice. Gosh. Ooh, okay. So I'm not really finding a whole lot of downsides. The rubbing that I was talking about earlier has kind of subsided. Feel like they've already loosened up just from running about a mile i mean they feel nice guys i think it's time for a couple sprints just to really put them to the test but am i gonna have to start spending 800 dollars on running shoes now am i spoiled like this one of my favorite workouts is just to do like 50 yard sprints do like five or ten of them in a row maybe take like a 15 second break in between each round it is such a good workout for your muscles, for your lungs. It's a super nice calorie burn. Try it. Okay, I'm sufficiently tired now. We went 1.2 miles with a few sprints, some hills, that's plenty for me. Let's take it back to the studio and I'll give you my final thoughts. <sighs> We're back. I'm showered, finished my run in these coarser $825 sneakers. 
My overall reaction is that they are very comfortable. They do have a good spring, like I was saying. They take a little bit of getting used to. The design is great. I think you could totally wear these as like a fashion sneaker as well. So I mean, that does a little bit more to justify the price tag. Because I mean, I was thinking about it while I was running and people spend this type of money on like Balenciaga sneakers, which I've always thought was a little crazy because again, I've said this before, but with a really expensive boot or a really expensive dress shoe, you can get the sole replaced. You can have them repaired by a good shoe repair and they'll last you for life for years and years and years if they're really well made whereas a sneaker you can't really get the sole replaced at least not to my knowledge so you'd have to wear these a ton which if you're using them for active wear and as a fashion sneaker maybe you can justify it or maybe you just won the lottery and in that case congratulations i'd love some money final rating i would give these i guess probably like a six and a half out of ten because the quality is good the design is fine i'm not crazy crazy about it i don't think they're the most stylish sneakers i've ever seen uh and the price tag just has to knock them down at least a couple points um for me so let me know what you guys thought of this vlog style kind of i kind of want to maybe start doing like why is it so expensive type episodes and start reviewing things and really using them for their intended purpose and figuring out whether it does make more sense to start spending a lot more money on things. As always, if you have any questions, you can drop them down below. You can DM me on Instagram, go follow me there, as well as on TikTok for lots of other style tips and outfit ideas. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, tell a friend about the channel, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.